Four days before his stroke, Alan's hand went numb for ten minutes. He did nothing. No pain. No panic. Just ten minutes of clumsiness while stirring his tea. Then it vanished. And four days later, so did life as he knew it. He collapsed on sight, unable to speak, unable to move his right side. His name is Alan. He's 66. A builder. A grandfather. The kind of man who never took a day off, never liked fuss, never saw the point in going to the doctor. That moment in the kitchen? That was his only warning. A brief glitch. A whisper from the brain. A final alert before catastrophe. But he missed it. And I don't want you, or anyone you love, to make the same mistake. I am Dr. KDM and I'm a consultant stroke physician. Every week I meet people like Alan. People who had one brief chance to stop a stroke before it happened and didn't realize what it was. Please do let me know in the comments whether you or someone you know has also experienced something similar. That warning is called a TIA, a transient ischemic attack, and this video is here to show you exactly what it looks like, what it means, and how you can act before it's too late. Because this is what often happens one week before a stroke and why most people ignore it. Let's start with the basics. A stroke occurs when blood flow to a part of the brain is cut off, usually by a clot or a burst vessel, but in some cases the blockage is temporary. It lasts just a few minutes and then clears up. The symptoms vanish and you feel normal again. That's a TIA, a transient ischemic attack, sometimes called a mini-stroke, but there's nothing mini about it. It starts like a stroke but ends quickly. No permanent damage. No long-term disability. And that's the trap. Because it tricks people into thinking it wasn't serious. But here's the brutal truth. One in five people who have a TIA will go on to have a full-blown stroke within 90 days. Half of those strokes happen in the first seven days. That's why the week after a TIA is so dangerous. And why recognizing the symptoms and acting fast can save your life. So what does a TIA actually feel like? The most common symptoms are sudden and often painless. Here's what to look for. F. Face. Drooping on one side. A lopsided smile. Difficulty moving the mouth. A. Arms. Sudden weakness or numbness in one arm or leg, especially on one side. S. Speech. Slurred speech or trouble finding words. You may sound drunk or say the wrong words without realizing. T. Time. Time to act. Time to call emergency services, even if the symptoms stop. But TIAs can present in other, less obvious ways too. These are the ones people often overlook. Vision problems. A sudden loss of vision in one eye. It might feel like a curtain falling or everything going grey. Balance issues. A sudden inability to walk straight. Feeling dizzy, off balance or veering to one side. Confusion, a sudden sense of mental fog. You might not understand speech or become disoriented in a familiar place. Numbness or tingling, especially one-sided, affecting the face, arm or leg. Sudden fatigue or weakness, a heavy limb, a sensation that something's not quite right. And here's the key detail, these symptoms often last just a few minutes. That's what makes TIAs so dangerous, because people tell themselves, it went away, so it must not be serious. I just didn't sleep well. I was probably dehydrated. But this isn't stress. It's not low blood sugar. It's your brain being starved of oxygen and recovering by luck. Let me tell you about another patient. Not Alan, but Fiona. She was 59, a former teacher. One morning while reading, she suddenly couldn't make sense of the words. They looked like gibberish. She blinked, shook her head, and within five minutes, she could read again. She never told anyone. Three days later, she had a stroke in the language center of her brain. She still struggles to string together full sentences. That unreadable page? That was her TIA. If she'd gone in, we could have seen the narrowing in her carotid artery, started her on blood thinners, maybe scheduled surgery. Instead, she waited. She assumed it was nothing. So what should you do if you experience a TIA? Go to the hospital, immediately, even if you feel completely fine now, even if the symptoms lasted just two minutes. You need ACT or MR of your brain, a scan of the carotid arteries in your neck, 
an ECG or halter monitor to check your heart rhythm, blood tests to look at clotting, cholesterol and sugar levels, because TIAs are a sign that something is wrong with your arteries, your heart, your circulation, and that something can be treated. In many cases, we start aspirin or clopidogrel to stop clots forming, statins to reduce cholesterol and stabilize artery plaques, blood pressure tablets to protect the vessels, anticoagulants if atrial fibrillation is detected, surgery or stenting if the arteries in the neck are dangerously narrow, but none of that can happen if you don't come in. Now let's talk about something even more powerful than medication, lifestyle change. After a TIA, your body is giving you a second chance. What you do with it matters. Here are six changes that can cut your stroke risk in half. 1. Quit smoking. Smoking narrows the arteries, increases clotting and damages the lining of your blood vessels. Quitting is one of the most powerful changes you can make. Even after decades, the benefits begin within days. 2. Lower your blood pressure. High blood pressure is the number one cause of stroke. If you don't know your BP, get a home monitor. Aim for under 130 over 80 millimeters of mercury unless your doctor says otherwise. 3. Move more. Just 30 minutes of moderate exercise, like brisk walking, five days a week reduces stroke risk by over 25% and it improves your mood, weight, and heart health too. 4. Sleep properly. Snoring, gasping at night, waking unrefreshed. You may have sleep apnea, a hidden stroke risk. Untreated, it can cause repeated dips in oxygen that strain your heart and brain. 5. Cut back alcohol. Heavy drinking increases blood pressure and causes irregular rhythms like atrial fibrillation. Stick to low-risk levels or cut it out entirely if advised. 6. Lose excess weight, especially belly fat, which raises inflammation, blood pressure, and insulin resistance. Even a 5-10% to 10 weight loss can dramatically improve your vascular health. And what about diet? Your arteries are built from what you eat. If you want them soft, supple, and flowing, you need the right fuel. Focus on a Mediterranean-style diet. Plenty of vegetables, spinach, kale, broccoli, tomatoes, fruits, especially berries, apples, citrus, whole grains, oats, quinoa, brown rice, healthy fats, olive oil, avocado, nuts, oily fish like sardines, salmon and mackerel, beans and lentils for protein, herbs and spices instead of salt, avoid processed meats, salami, bacon, ham, sugary foods and drinks, trans fats and deep fried snacks, Oversalted ready meals and sauces. It's not about perfection, it's about direction. Even small changes, swapping butter for olive oil or meat for lentils once a week, add up. Let me return to Alan. He didn't smoke, but he hadn't seen a doctor in years. His blood pressure was high, his cholesterol was borderline, and he thought healthy eating meant skipping dessert on Sundays. His 10 minute warning was his moment to act. Instead, he waited. Today, Alan uses a wheelchair. His speech is slurred. He needs help to get out of bed. But it didn't have to be that way. So, what about you? Have you ever had a strange episode? A droopy mouth? A weak arm? A word you couldn't find? Did it pass quickly? Don't ignore it. Tell your doctor. Get checked. Ask for imaging. Ask about your stroke risk. It's not overreacting. It's being smart with your brain. If you've already had a TIA, this is your second chance. Don't waste it. Take the medications. Change the habits. Eat better. Move more. Sleep well. Quit smoking. Ask questions. Because the most dangerous stroke is not the one that hits without warning. It's the one you saw coming and did nothing about. If this video helped you, please share it. You never know who might watch it and change their future. And if you enjoyed this video, why not check out this video on the top left on more tips on living a longer, healthier life.